Imagine being able to identify keyword phrases that are gonna be driving huge volume in just a matter of days or weeks. And what if those keyword phrases had zero competition? And what if you had almost a crystal ball that you could tap into to identify these keyword phrases anytime you want? Imagine what kind of results you could generate for your channel. Imagine the views that you could drive and, and how you could convert those viewers into subscribers. That's what we're talking about in this video, so stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action, like inspiring someone to click the subscribe button, or inspiring someone to buy a product, sign up to your list, inspire people, and you'll win. Check this out. This is a research strategy that is so powerful. In fact, I've used it to generate tens of thousands. Actually, honestly, this is called the Just Born Keyword Phrase Strategy, and it's incredibly powerful because very few people implement this strategy. It's off the beaten trail. It does not involve the YouTube keyword tool. It does not involve the AdWords keyword tool. It requires just a little bit of knowledge and insight, which I'm gonna share with you right now. Leveraging this strategy has allowed me to crush it in multiple niches, build lists, make money, and you can do the same. Let's go. Success with SEO is really all about understanding supply and demand. When you understand and are able to identify keywords that have a lot of people searching, right? Lots of search volume, but not too much demand, it's really quite easy to publish a blog post that ranks well or to publish a video here on YouTube that drives views, gains you more subscribers, and helps you to crush it. So here's how this strategy works. It reminds me for something that Wayne Gretzky is quoted for all the time, and he talks about, you know, lots of players are chasing that puck, and I'm thinking about where the puck's gonna be. And you can do the same thing no matter your niche to identify what people will be searching for in the future so you can create videos before there's any demand at all. Let me give you an example of how I've used this strategy to make all kinds of money in the Halloween niche. You see, every year around Halloween, there are the standard costumes that sell. Stuff like a Dracula costume or a candy corn witch costume. Those are evergreen uh, keyword phrases and obviously evergreen products that always sell. But every year, without fail, there's something new that comes along and people wanna hop on that bandwagon and create something fun. In 2009, I learned there'd be a new Star Trek reboot. And I thought, you know, these characters, predominantly Spock and Captain Kirk, are huge. And I bet you that there will be kids that wanna dress up as Spock or Captain Kirk. So what did I do? I registered the domain name Spock Costume, and weeks later, I ranked number one in all the major search engines. I was driving serious views to a website that took me about two hours to create. This was not some huge thing. It was a one-page website, and I made tons of money. Now, you can do the same thing by identifying what will people be searching for in your niche. Let me give you some ideas on how you too can identify popular themes that you can jump on. Now, I mentioned movies and I see a lot of YouTubers that do movie reviews and they are able to drive significant views for those movie review videos and ultimately gain traction. You can do the same thing. Go to a movie website that lists movies that are coming out in the future and if you see something that resonates or is in your niche, why not talk about it before it comes out? That way you're ahead of the game. The keyword has yet to be born and yet you've already identified it and you can jump on board. Here's another example. I create a lot of videos around apps and I often watch for apps that are coming out on the App Store, brand new apps that were just released. Now this isn't having that vision of what's gonna happen in the future, but it's pretty darn close. And when you see some type of an app or software product or new product or something that's just being released, well you can jump on board, 
create a video about that. Target the product title. Another thing you can do is to target book releases by authors that are in your niche. And if you learn of an author that's coming out with something new in the future, it's really easy to create a video about that book and talk about what they're doing. And by the time the book comes out, you're gonna have a head start, you're gonna have accumulated watch time, and poof! Oh yeah. <laughs> this is a super simple strategy that you can use to identify keyword phrases that will be born in the future, that people will most definitely be searching for, and it can position you ahead of the competition. Check it out. I'll see you on the next video. Poof, pixie dust. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the icon, subscribe now, and I'm gonna link to a suggested video for you with a new fancy end card. Wicked!